sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the player, hate the game. Today is Monday, so you know what that means. It's another Monday madness. What are we doing today? Today, we are doing something that I haven't done in a long time. So, we're back at it. We're, we're splattering paint all over sweatshirts. We got this white hoodie, and we're gonna splatter paint all over it, like nostalgic stuff that we used to do. I'm in the nostalgic get up that I used to do back in the day when I always made t-shirts, always made stickers. You know, if you know, you know. If you don't, go back to subscribe to the channel and go back to whatever video it is that I accidentally took a paint can thinking that I could poke a hole in it and dump it into a cup. I hit it with a hammer and it exploded everywhere. It was hilarious. So we're back in the nostalgic Carhartt hoodie with the hood on because it's kind of cold out here. Even though that it's nice out, Washington, it's cold. Yeah, it gets warm out sometimes, but it's also sunny, but also cold out at the same time. Right here, so we got this paint right here that I'm mixing up. I'm trying to make this, I sprayed some pink in here in the white to make it a little, uh, whatever it's called, lighter pink. I'll show you the hoodie that we're making. Well, I already showed you the sweatshirt, but here's what we're putting on the hoodie. We got, sorry for the shop, it's all dirty, but this is what happens when I'm doing a bunch of stuff off camera. It just gets dirty. I found this nice little dresser for all my old plastic heat transfers and graphics that I used back in the day. So I did this painting company's graphics one time for their work shirts. It's called Brewer's Quality Painting. You see this? So I'm gonna take that white hoodie, splatter paint all over it like I was painting and make my own Bowers Brewers, Bowers Brewers, whatever it's called painting sweaters. So it looks like I'm actually part of the company, but I'm not. And if they're still around, that's free advertisement for them. This one's gonna go on the back. And when I was first doing this graphic and I sent it out to get transfers made, they accidentally made it this size. So I'm thinking it'd be cool to actually use this because this, these I've never used. Put this on the front of the hoodie and then put this on the back of the hoodie. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We're in there like swimwear. We gotta get this tag off this hoodie and we're gonna just do some custom stuff on it real quick because I do have some spray paint that I'm gonna spray on it. I'm gonna spray paint on it, splatter paint on it, do what I want on it because it's my hoodie. You just wanna throw it on the ground. Wa-bam. And if you don't make that noise, wa-bam, you're not doing it right. That's the only thing, that's the only rule. If you don't make that noise, wa-bam, you're not doing it right. First of all, we're gonna use this color, Oasis Blue. turn my heat press off to blow dry because I realized if I had the blow dryer going and my heat press on at the same time I would have blown a fuse. Anything that you do in your life, even if it's this YouTube video stuff, anything, you gotta have confidence. And, you, and, when, and when you're on camera, you gotta talk like you have confidence. Even if you have to practice shooting yourself or filming yourself on a day-to-day -day basis talking to the camera. Like I'm talking to the camera, but I'm also talking to you at the same time. I've been doing it for a very long time. I've worked in the industry, like cameras and editing and all that stuff. I've done it all. I went to school for it. I worked in the industry. I've done a bunch of stuff. So I'm not afraid. I have like, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but I have confidence. And uh, something happened today and I realized you really don't have confidence. Like you have confidence, but like you think you have, I don't want to sound like a dick. That's the thing. I don't want to sound like a dick. 
I don't know what to say. All I know is that you gotta be confident in what you're doing. And then when you're bringing, developing, or delivering what you have to say, developing, even developing a video, like putting, like a treat, like break it down, let's call it treatment. Like that's what they call it when we're doing stuff, like treatment, like writing a video or doing, I don't even write none of this stuff. All this stuff is a straight freestyle and I package it into like what I needed it to do. I came up with the idea of doing this a while back and I, I've done the Monday Madness thing so many times, I know the formula. So you gotta know the formula and the technique that you wanna do, so you gotta have the confidence to talking to the camera you know you gotta have confidence confidence in life in general but like you gotta have confidence talking to the camera talking to the camera like it's person don't talk to the camera like it's a camera talk to it like it's person and you know you don't really need you know a full-blown setup to do what you're doing and it doesn't matter what here's another thing another thing that kind of ticks me in the wrong way that's why I my, my producer director um, creativity kind of came out but then I had to turn it off because that's just the way I, I am. But like, it does not matter what you use to film your videos with. It doesn't matter. Even though that I made like videos about the VX2000, if you're, if you're down with using a VX2000 and you're still wanting to, you know, make your videos with the VX or I'm just using the VX as an example. If you want to make your videos with the VX and go, you know, put your tape in or, or you do the fancy thing now where I really want to do it, where they buy that card, they buy the thing with the, for the fire wire, you plug it into the side of the VX and you can put your, the card in that thing on the VX so you can do a tapeless VX. It's actually really cool. But if you're into that and if you're doing a YouTube, like starting out, like, okay, you do the Instagram, you do the TikTok, and you put your videos on Facebook or whatever, and then you want to start the YouTube channel, but you don't have enough money for your for a camera at the moment, use your phone. It doesn't matter what video device you use, you know, if you just have enough if you just have enough money to buy a cheap camera and that's all you got, and it doesn't matter if it's a full frame, half frame, one sensor, two sensor, three sensor, four sensor, it doesn't matter. It don't matter for the longest time. This is like a 4K, I don't matter. I'm telling you right now, this camera that you're on right now, or I'm talking to you through this camera. It's the Sony V C V E10. It's whatever. It's a 4K camera. And right now I'm using the stock microphone on it, even though that I have a plethora of microphones that I've I just took it off because me and Jeff we went skating the other day and I brought the camera in with me to get some shots of us just sitting down. So I didn't want to bring my whole camera with the microphone on top, so I just took the microphone off. Boom, and just used the internal microphone. Does it matter? No. Does the audio still sound professional? Yes because I know what I'm doing in the post. I'm not one of those people that follow trends and be like, oh, this dude over here making this YouTube video is doing it and he's getting these views and doing all this stuff. And then you try to copy what he's doing. Basically try to imitate what he's doing and do the same video. Nobody wants to watch that because if I, if I wanted to watch that, I would watch the person that actually did it first. I feel like, yeah, I got ideas of doing this the Monday Madness and creating t-shirts and screen printing t-shirts and plastic all heat transfers on t-shirts and doing all this stuff on the t-shirts and sweatshirts and now I'm over here slathering paint all over the t-shirts but guess what that idea of that process of that idea I'm not copying but I got the I like I remember my cousin back in the day Kyle was making um he used to do this thing back in the day called Bonky. And he, I remember him throwing paint on shirts and, and writing on paint and like doing graffiti on t-shirts and doing, I have a pair of shoes, custom shoes, painted all over the t-shirts and wrote Bonky on the t-shirts and splattered paint all over a couple of t-shirts for me and, and drew his, uh, he had a character that he drew and he draw, drew it all over the shirt and did all this stuff. But splattering paint and, and putting paint on t-shirts and tie-dyeing, yeah, I was around it. And I got, that's cool. The bonky stuff was dope, fresh back in the day. Because back in the day, everybody was wearing the bonky. Even people that I I knew that I didn't even know they knew my cousin wore bonky. That's how popular it was. But I'm just saying, everybody, your idea that you had subconsciously, you already seen somebody do it. So I'm just saying, you know, be original. Take parts and pieces from somebody. But when somebody worked in that industry and is trying to tell you like the right way of doing something and it'll turn out better in the long run of what you're doing, take that advice and stop saying, I know, I know, I know, I know. When somebody's trying to help you, I know, I know, I know. Don't stop saying you know when you don't know. Please. Now let's go back to our regular scheduled program 
of uh, putting stuff on sweatshirts and t-shirts. It's at 110, so we gotta get up to 190. So while this is heating up, I have a special way, even though that we blue dry that dry a little bit, I'm gonna dry it with this heat press. And the way that I do that is I have a special, where's it at? Special Teflon sheet over here somewhere, right here. I have this special Teflon sheet that I've used all the time now just for drying the painted splatter paint on the sweatshirts and t-shirts. Yeah, because it's supposed to look like that. This is actually looking pretty sick. I don't care if the paint's rubbing off. It's supposed to be a painted, like, worked in it. Oh my God. Today is the next day. We got done with the hoodie. I spray painted it. I splattered paint all over it. I sprayed paint on it far away so it looks like overspray like I was actually spraying a house or spraying the inside of a house with a paint sprayer. Um, what is the company called right here? Shout out to Brewer Brewers. Brewers Quality Painting. I made them work shirts a long time ago. I still had transfers left over and I have this fancy dresser in the back. Now I have all my transfers, everything organized. So I was like, you know, it'd be cool to make it. And I had these small ones that I never, ever, ever used because the company that I go through messed up on the transfer size and they sent me the wrong size transfer. So I was like, you know, it'd be cool to put the small one on the front of the hoodie and the big one on the back of the hoodie. You see that? And it looks like a painted work shirt, work sweatshirt that I was actually painting, but no, it's just called an art piece. So we're always going to be out here. You better check check the schedule because the schedule has changed. The qu the quality of the videos are being up and up and up and up and every time. So we're out here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that has really been a Monday madness because I had things go on that day that kind of really irked me. I kind of talked about it, if you're still watching, I, still, I kind of talked about it, but uh, Wednesday, I don't know when I'm going to put it up, but Wednesday or Friday, you better check it out because I go into more detail on what kind of made me like, oh, I know what I'm talking about and you're kind of jealous of what I know. So subscribe to the channel, I double dog dare you, we're out here again Monday, Wednesday, and Friday get with the program.